friends the given problem is find the constants a and b such that the surface is 5x square minus 2yz minus 9x is equal to 0 and ax square y plus bz cube is equal to 4 cuts orthogonally at 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 so what you need to find the points a and b these are the unknown points when the two surfaces are when the two surfaces are cuts orthogonally means their normals are orthogonally cutting nothing but here angle you can say 90 degrees suppose you see actually we have a formula angle between two surfaces suppose n1 bar comma n2 bar are the normal to the surfaces then the angle between normal to the surfaces is cos theta is equal to n1 bar dot n2 bar by mod n1 bar into mod n2 bar this is the angle actually but the angle is what is saying orthogonally cuts orthogonal is nothing but angle you can say pi by 2 angle pi by 2 means what about the cos theta cos pi by 2 what is the cos 90 cos 0 is 1 cos 90 is 0 so this value is 0 this value is 0 is nothing but n1 bar dot n2 bar by mod n1 bar into mod n2 bar value is 0 so whenever numerator by denominator is 0 then you can say the numerator is 0 that is nothing but n1 bar dot n2 bar is equal to 0 so we need to find out n1 bar and n2 bar nothing but for the given surface we need to find out normal to the surface and for this also normal to the surface okay let this is a pi 1 surface and this is a pi 2 let pi 1 is equal to i am writing here let pi 1 of x comma y comma z is equal to 5x square minus 2yz minus 9x and pi 2 is equal to ax square y plus bz cube minus 4 this is pi 2 you see this is i consider as a pi 1 and minus 4 you take left side then that is a pi 2 now we need to find out n1 bar n1 bar and n2 bar what is n1 bar normal to the surface n1 bar we are denoting with the del pi or grad pi that is i into do by do x of this pi with respect to pi with respect to this pi with respect to x do it differentiation partially then you will have 10x and this is 0 minus 9 plus j times of with respect to y is this is 0 this is 0 here you have minus 2z plus k into with respect to z with respect to z means this is 0 and this is 0 so here you have minus 2y so this n1 bar where you required at a point what is the point means here the point p minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 so n1 bar at p i1 that is del pi 1 pi 1 at p is in place of x we have to substitute 1 in place of y minus 1 in place of z 2 then you will have 10 into 1 10 10 minus 9 is nothing but 1 only 1 into i means i next minus 2 z minus 2 z means z is 2 so minus of minus into plus is minus 2 times of 2 is 4 into j next here you have minus 2k what about the y minus 1 so minus of minus plus 2k this is which value first normal to the surface normal to the surface for the normal to the vector for the first surface next one we required a del pi 2 that is nothing but n2 bar n2 bar is here del pi 2 that is i into do pi 2 by do x with respect to x do it what you are getting this is a function of x you have a y term that is a constant you have to treat while differentiating partially with respect to x so a y into x square derivative is 2x and is there any x term no here also there is no x term so this is 0 plus j times of with respect to y do it then what you are having a x squared y derivative is 1 and this is 0 this is 0 next plus k times of with respect to z this is 0 this is 0 then you will have 3 z square is it clear for everyone now where you require this n2 bar n2 bar you require at the 1 minus 1 2 why you require at this point means both are intersecting at this point only that is the reason we require this point 1 minus 1 2 n2 bar at this point then del pi 2 at p is equal to i into with respect to uh, sorry x is here 1 y is here minus 1 so minus 1 into 2 means minus 2 a i next x square is nothing but 1 square 1 square into a is a j next here you have a 3 z square b what is the z you have 2 z is 2 2 square is 4 4 3 is 
12. So 12B K. This is what actually N2 bar. So from the given problem, what you can say? N1 bar dot N2 bar is equal to 0. N1 bar dot we have N1 bar dot N2 bar is equal to 0. That is nothing but, huh? you see, what is N1 bar? I minus 4J plus 2K dot N2 bar is minus 2AI plus AJ plus 12BK is equal to what actually? 0. I dot I is 0. So, here, uh, sorry, these two dot product of these two is 0. Now, I dot I is 1. So, you will have minus 2A. J dot J is 1. So, you will have minus 4A. K dot K is 1. So, you will have 24 B is equal to 0. From this, what you are getting now? Minus 2A minus 4A is nothing but minus 6A plus 24 B is equal to 0. Of course, 6 minus 6 you can take common. Then you will have A plus A uh, minus A plus 4 B is equal to 0. So, from this you can get uh, A is equal to 4 B. A is equal to 4 B. But friends, what you required actually, you required the constant A and B. Both you required. Okay. But you have A is equal to 4B. A is equal to 4B is nothing but are you getting A and B values from this? No. Because these are independent. So, if you want to get the two unknown values, minimum you require two equations. But I have only one equation. What about the another equation? Means, you observe they are given two surfaces. One surface is does not containing A and B. But the second surface is containing A and B. So, this A and this surface is satisfying a 1 minus 1 2 means 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 point only we are discussing so this will be satisfies then in place of x you substitute 1 in place of y you substitute minus 1 in place of z you substitute 2 then you will get one more equation friends is it clear see i will repeat again you see if a is equal to 4b or a minus 4b is equal to 0 from this one equation you cannot get two two unknown values Minimum two, uh, if you want to know the two unknown values, you require minimum two equations. But I have only one equation. What about the other equations means this point, this surface is, we are discussing at a point P. Then you will get the another equation. Now you solve those two equations, then you will get A and B values. That's it. Now, in place of X, you substitute 1. In place of Y, you substitute minus 1. Then you will have X square means 1. Y is minus 1. So, minus A. Now, z is cube is nothing but 2 cube. 2 cube is nothing but 8. So, plus 8b is equal to 4. This is another equation. From the first equation, what I have? a is equal to 4b. Substitute a is equal to 4b. So, minus 4b plus 8b is equal to 4. That is here, 4b is equal to 4, which implies b is equal to 1. Yes, I got now b value. So, from the equation 1, I can get the a value. So, what do you have? a is 4b. We have a is equal to 4b. So, a is equal to 4 times of 1. That is nothing but 4. Therefore, a is equal to 4, comma, b is equal to 1. That's it. These values only now we need to find. Is it clear for everyone? So, here what they are given, you see, one surface, another surface, both are intersecting and at one point, then we need to find out the constants for the second surface, further they are given a condition, both are cuts orthogonally, that's it, okay, thank you for watching this video.